Hey guys, welcome back to another Gaming Memories video. Here we are taking a look at what is quite possibly the most important racing game that has ever been released on any console in the history of video gaming, and that is the original Gran Turismo. This was released back in 1998, originally on the PlayStation 1 console, and it was released to critical acclaim. This definitely changed the whole era of gaming and even just racing games in general from pretty much the selection of cars available to the incredible graphics this game really really pushed the boundaries not just of gaming in general but it really pushed the hardware of the playstation console to its absolute limits and for a 32-bit era console this game really showed what was actually possible this game in its own right completely revolutionised the games industry and it took it to a whole new level. This game single handedly set the standard for literally pretty much every simulation or racing game that has come after it even compared to modern day consoles. There have been a number of sequels over the years and even up until modern consoles of the Gran Turismo series and they are very very good games. But no, they're definitely not as memorable compared to the original title and even the sequel, Gran Turismo 2, that was also released on the PlayStation. These are definitely among the best racing games. This definitely been probably the best racing game ever to be created. It's also the best selling game ever in history. This game alone, just on the PlayStation console, has sold just under 10 million copies, which is actually incredible. No other racing game in, in in any genre, in any type of game, has ever sold as much as this game actually has. This game completely inspired a whole generation of petrol heads and fans of just motor cars, racing, anyone that wanted to know anything about a car. Most of us growing up, and I'm sure you agree, everything that we know literally about cars today, we learned from playing this game like looking at this here car the FTO and other cars the Mitsubishi Eclipse the Toyota Supra the Subaru Impreza the Mitsubishi Lancer the Evo 4 the Mitsubishi GTO I could go on and on and I I've always loved my cars but this here playing this game over the years really brought it to a whole new level because not only this game was this game extremely playable and you know it had mass appeal but this game was also a really good educational platform as well because it was the first proper racing game, simulation based racing game that actually played very very differently from other games on platforms and in, in racing games in general where how your choices, your engine choices, your power outputs, even down to your tyre choices could massively influence your outcomes in races, whether you were to win races or whether to you were lose and it would also affect the, the overall power output and even handling characteristics of the car. No one before really seen in a racing game had you actually have that much influence. It was actually just an incredible experience. I remember actually when I first played this game I was actually completely blown away by it and I just didn't even know what I was actually seeing. I was just like this is insane. But I do remember my first experience with it in general was actually my friend Derek had actually bought it literally the day it actually came out and nobody seen him for nearly literally the whole weekend he literally disappeared off the planet because he was stuck in his in his house in his room literally playing this game to death he, he just he, he didn't stop he did not want to stop playing it he was just absolutely addicted to it I remember actually having to go, call over to his house to see if everything was all right to see where he was going and he was up in the room he was just you could see the eyes in his head he was just he was absolutely addicted to it he, he couldn't dragging away from the game the game was just so addictive even down to the likes of the cars and stuff that every to be honest actually most people always wanted to go for the likes of that subaru rally edition car because the acceleration in that thing was absolutely incredible if you got your hands in that car nine times out of ten you'd nearly win 99 percent of the races because it was just so blisteringly quick even down to the likes of even some of my favorite cars of all time the toyota celica Toyota Supra and it just it inspired a whole generation and not only that this game came out in an era where cars were a really big thing but not only that 
there was a lot of cars that were actually in this game that only were they were only available at that time currently in the Japanese market and they were only starting to be imported overseas and nobody actually knew really about these cars i know myself i didn't know a lot about them either you, you might see an odd one say where i was in ireland but you didn't really know what they were or understood what type of car they were but then when you seen this game and then all of a sudden then when you're playing the set type of cars in the game and then all of a sudden when you do go out you'd start to see a few of them around and you're like oh my god just it was insane like how it was much of a coincidence but to be honest, actually, that generation, it came out at a time when Japanese sports cars, like all the big name brands, Mitsubishi, Toyota, Subaru, they, they were just producing some of the best cars, if not the best generation or the coolest looking cars, the most memorable cars pretty, pretty much ever, sport, a bit sports car wise. The 90s was just an incredible time for cars in general because there were so many cool and unique cars that completely inspired generations of gamers and even movie makers because a lot of these cars went on to later be shown in the Fast and Furious movies if you've ever watched them as well that'll show you how iconic these type of sports cars are from the 90s so it's just it's an incredible feat like what this game has managed to achieve like you can even see the graphics in the game itself still are incredible and hold their own today and it really is a testament to how truly fantastic this game actually is it's one of the greatest and most popular games pretty much of all time it's the best selling racing game of all time this thing broke records across the board it's i kid you not it just really is something else and the level of detail the cars that were available just everything about it just it almost screamed perfection you know and to, to top it off it also educated you about the cars as well. You could always go and check the specs of the cars and it would actually give you a background as to the car's history and even the manufacturer's history and what led them to creating the car and so forth. Like it was just, there was so much there. That's how most of us, myself included, learned so much about cars and how we know and love them today. It generally is because of this game. This game just really inspired so many people. Most people that are actually, that are into their cars now even like say professional racers the chances are you could ask them what inspired them a lot of them will actually say that this game inspired them that's how influential this game actually is it appealed to so much of a mass market and even at the time the playstation was the big console of that era and that generation and to have this on it just really just exploded it just blew it out of the water and don't get me wrong, the PlayStation is home to some amazing and tons of fantastic racing titles. But this definitely stood head head and shoulders above all the rest, even to other gaming consoles at that time. Nothing ever came close to this game for a long time. Even if now, like anything, most modern games that come out, and there is some fantastic racing games, they all take their ideas originally from the likes of the concept of this game, because it's just so unique and it's just it was so well put together. And again, the selection of cards available, even with the likes of me now with just recording this video, I wanted to choose a few cards that I knew were kind of my favourites, even with the likes of the Mitsubishi FTO here, because not only did this game inspire people to play, but it has inspired people, even like myself, to go out and buy these cars in real life, even outside of the game. A couple of years ago, I went, I went and I bought my own FTO. And I had it for a little while and I absolutely loved it. I eventually had to sell it because I just it was it was starting to get very rusty and it just it was too much that I because I, I myself I'm not a mechanic. I could do little bits in cars but I wouldn't be really know the ins and outs of how certain things work. But I just wanted to be able to say to myself, you know what, I've actually had something that I've actually dreamed of for years and it all started a lot of it with this game. And I do remember actually specifically saying to my mate Derek, and I remember even when we were in school, there was, I remember over in the college across the road, there was a person that actually had one of these cars. And I do remember we used to go over at lunchtime to see some of the cool cars that these people used to have, and we were having a look at them. And I do remember specifically saying that one of these days I would actually own, in a couple of years, I would actually own something like that. Now I got it very cheap but I still managed to own it, I don't care, I managed to get one of my dream cars so it was fantastic, even if I only had it for about a year, for me I didn't care, and that car I have to say now, it was, it was great, it was a fantastic car, I actually missed that car so much, 
but I had to get rid of it because it just for me it was just going to cost too much money at that time. I couldn't afford to keep it, and it was just oh, I actually do miss it so much because I'm a big fan of going to car shows and stuff and just you know just getting involved with car communities and that. But a lot of it is really down to being educated and playing this game so much. Like I do love my cars, but when I played this game, it really took it to a whole new level. And not only did I say I bought myself an FTO, I eventually did go on then to buy myself a Toyota Celica, which I still currently own, and I'm actually trying to fix it up at the minute, so I'm trying to learn how to do bits and pieces on it. And that's the inspiration that a lot of this stuff has actually given me over the years. And I know I'm not the only one in saying that, because, like I mentioned, a lot of people that have actually played this game and even gotten into playing racing games, it has inspired them to go on to become like race drivers and even just to get involved with cars, either working as mechanics, or just even, like say, go to car shows or just be involved buying classic cars or cars that they would have dreamt of growing up. And playing these type of games has given people an avenue to be able to experience that. And even for people that genuinely will probably never get the chance to experience it. This is the closest thing that they can get to it. So at least they can say to themselves, well, at least I've actually had a look or I know what it's like. And if not for this game, a lot of us probably would never have known about this or these type of cars, which is quite incredible. Like you look at all the style of cars, like say the FTO, the Honda Integra, the Subaru Impreza, Mitsubishi, the Lancers, the Evos, the Mitsubishi GTOs, the Honda Civics. Toyota Chasers, the Mazda RX-7s, the 180 SXs, literally the list just goes on and on and on and on. And the 90s was a really, really cool time. There was just, it was an abundance of awesome cars. And this game had the majority of them in it as, as your selection. And you could pick them at will. And I remember we used to play this, myself and even my brothers and Derek used to have the game as well and we'd all call over and we'd be playing it in the house we used to spend weekends and days playing this game and always trying to get the most out of the cars we'd always be picking the car like that we liked and we'd always be trying to do it up you put either putting a fancy body kit on it or you'd be trying to get the most power out of it and you'd be taking it around the height speed ring level on it trying to see the top speed on the car or how much you could get out of it and just used to have so much fun with this game because there was so many elements to it that you could literally just be tinkering away or like you'd be like you'd be reading just up the information about the backgrounds of the cars and how they actually came to be and what generation they were on and so forth so it literally did inspire you so it did to keep playing and it like i said it literally has inspired me to actually go out and actually buy some of those cars that i've always wanted as well and actually own them for a little while and I'm more than thankful and grateful to actually have that because to actually be aware of that and a lot of it is down to actually playing this game. That's why this game is so influential to not just me but to a whole generation of games. And if you haven't played Gran Turismo, I'm sure you've known about it but you have to play this game. It's one of the most important games ever to be created and I highly recommend that you do give it a go because you won't regret it. It still holds up today just as good as it's ever done and it always will remain that way too. So I highly recommend you check it out. So I'd like to know your opinions and thoughts on this all time classic game. What are your favourite cars and even if so what are your best memories of playing this game? What influences did it have on you growing up or even where did it lead you to? growing with, with your car endeavours and even what type of cars you've actually owned. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below because this CO game is really worth celebrating and it's still, like I mentioned, just as good today as it's always been and it always will continue to be. So, I really do hope you've actually enjoyed this video and that at least that it's given you a background into Gran Turismo and even my background into what inspired me as well back in those days too and how it's inspired other people hopefully too. So if you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. Also hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to be updated whenever I release future videos as I will be exploring more classic games such as this one and even getting to experience other games I never got to play back in the day and sharing my thoughts and experiences with everyone. So until next time, make sure to keep playing those classic games and enjoying them and getting the most out of them. And keep those gaming memories alive.